Hey man, New Year's Saints sponsor, man. Hit up my sponsor, Game MS, for the cheapest coins on the market, man. You can get a million coins for less than $70, man. Use code Bree for 6% off. YouTube man, we're back here with another video man ranking the best wide receivers in Madden 21 Ultra Team. If you guys have checked out my other one from like a few weeks ago, a lot has changed. I take out getting receivers at least three, four times a week. And so I thought I'd bring you guys an updated version of the best wide receivers. I'm trying to use it at least every month. But since we be getting like six receivers, why not do it? But if can you guys consider subscribing and like the video? And comment. It only takes three seconds, man. It helps out a lot for the channel. Let's get straight into it. We have three honorable mentions. Then we will get into the top ten. You gotta do top five, but let's change up a little bit. Let's do top ten. Honorable mention number one: Rich Reggie Wayne. Now, honestly, I forgot about Reggie, but he is actually a beast. I did want to put Brandon Cooks or Odell Beckham in the spot, but Reggie Wayne was a beast for me, especially the uh, the LTD one. He's fucking a monster. 90 speed, 90 excel, 89 agility, um, 90 catching, 87 catching, 88 expect, 89 short, 90 medium, 88 deep, 80 strict release. So definitely a beast. Um, if you can't get him for a cheap, I said get the base one, just power him up. Training's really cheap right now, so then you save yourself a lot of coins. Um, honorable mention number two, and honestly, I had this card in the top ten. And then uh, other Arnold Mitchell's also in the top 10, but I forgot he's a lot more better receivers. It's Amari Cooper, the limited edition one. I think he is a series redux. 89 speed, 88 excel, 80, 91 agility, 87 jumping, 90 awareness, 88 catching, 86 catching traffic, 86 spec, 91 short, 89 medium, 88 deep, 89 release. So you power him up, damn near 90 uh, stats across the board. Honestly, I think uh, you can really put him in the top 10, but um, I think he's really an honorable mention to me, in my opinion, but obviously a beast. And the final honorable mention is going to be Harold Carmichael. Now, I had him in the top 10, I think at number 8, but I, I slid him down. I've seen all these other receivers. Like I said, I could have had Odell and Brandon Cooks, possibly Vincent Jackson, but like I said, 6'8, 90 speed. He is stiff as a log. Um, 89 catching, 91 catching traffic, 91 spec, 91 short, 87 medium, 89 deep, 90 release. Now, I will say this I don't know what's his um, uh, COD, I don't think it says it on here. But you're six eight. You're not gonna get those animations like those crazy jump ball animations. So that's why he's at this list. But if, if this was like Madden sixteen, oh, he's definitely in the top three, top five automatically because you'll get those animations and he's tall. So coming in at number ten, we have DK Metcalf. I think that only card that's a low overall. Now obviously he has a, I think another upgrade because of the team. But we see he does get a plus one to everything. Um, ninety two speed, ninety eight excel, seventy nine agility, ninety two jumping. Like receiving stats are um a little low. 84 catching, 87 catching traffic, 88 spec, 86 short, 83 medium, 86 deep, 88 release. But that speed makes up for it. He's a monster. I don't know how, like, I play this card a lot more than I should. And he just whoops my ass. And it's crazy. He's under 100k. So he's definitely be one of my be my best budget beasts. Video will probably dropping later on this week. Coming in at number 9, we have Team of the Week, Tyler Lockett. I have yet to use this card, and I was going through gameplay on him. But I said, you know what? Fuck that. I'm not going to do it. Um, 92 speed, 91 excel, 94 agility. Um, 92 catching, 86 catching, traffic, 90 spec, 86 short, 87 medium, 89 deep, 80 release. He gonna get jammed up like a bag of rice. You don't want that the problem, but 92 COD after the catch, he's gonna be a fucking monster. Now I I really want to pick this card up for just for special teams only. Get rid of Tyree Kill, use a uh, uh, T uh, TL, and just let him dominate on special teams because uh, Tyree Kill is a little bit outdated. But he's at number nine because you let him if you ain't pressing, you just let him torture and he will torture you down the field believe that so coming in at number eight and i really 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 want to put him in the top five this card is nice is Ty uh, stefan Diggs ltd he is also a serious redux um 91 speed 92 excel 90 agility 89 catching 88 catching traffic 91 spec 90 short 90 medium 90 deep 87 release. so he automatically meets the uh, uh route running uh thresholds definitely a monster and I say, if I could, I'd able to keep him on my team. But like I said, there's a lot more cards. But if you run like a Vikings or a Bills team team, he is going to be nasty. And I think I messed up here. Oh, wow. Actually? Oh, I did. I Okay. So, oh, shit. Scratch that. He's number 10. He's number 9. He's number 8. He's number 7. He's number 6. Actually, I'm actually this up. But right now, number 6, we have... LTD DeAndre Hopkins. I had two tabs of DeAndre Hopkins. Hopkins, I thought I had it. Um, obviously, a lot of people probably gonna say, "Oh, Bree, what's the difference?" You know, the speed. But I just think the catching and the jumping. See, he was six foot one. I did gameplay on this card. He's an animal. Honestly, he could crack the type ten. He could have took um, Steve Smith's spot, but like I said, I didn't use him as much to fully get the full um, 
experience with uh, DeAndre Hopkins, no homo. But 90 speed, 89 excel, 89 agility, uh, 90 jump, 94 jumping, 90 catching, 91 two catching trap, 91 spec, 89 short, 88 medium, 87 deep, 92 release. So you really can't press this card. He'll beat y'all the line of scrimmage. Definitely an animal. I, I, he's one of my favorite players. I have his jersey in my closet. I definitely want to pick this card right back up. But I felt like at the time I was doing my gameplays, I needed my coins. I would have kept this card. I think I powered him up too. But DeAndre Hopkins definitely coming in at number six. He could have cracked the top five. But to me, at number five is going to be Steve Smith. 91 speed, 92 excel, 90 agility, 71 strength, 92 jumping, 92 awareness, 91 catching, 92 catching traffic, 90 spec, 91 short, 89 medium, 90 deep, 89 release. But the main thing with this card is after the catch. Personally, I don't like human doing stick with my receivers because I rarely do those short routes, like run right to the catch, you got open space. I like to just push that bitch down the field and go out of bounds. I don't like to do none other shit, do people. But Steve Smith, I get a lot of break tackles with this card. And that's crazy. So I think he's coming in number five. He's still on my team. Fucking a beast. I think the only issue with him is that he's 5'9. He can run block two at 61. <coughs> Excuse me. So I personally believe this card here definitely was in the top five. When I did my receivers list, he was number one on my list. And it's crazy how he slid all the way down to number five. But I think I'm, I, switched, I, I changed my opinion because I think the person who's number four was behind him. But I, I had to change my mind, y'all. But number four is Ty. Tyrone, y'all guys know I love this car. I mentioned this in my 50 players. I think I love this car. Six foot four, 91 speed, 90 excel, 88 agility, 73 strength, 90 jumping, 85 awareness, 86 catching traffic. He catches a lot of shit in traffic. 89 and the 86 catching, 89 catch out there repeating myself. 89 spec, 85 short, 86 medium, 91 deep, 89 release. I love this car. He's staying on my team. I'm not getting rid of Ty. He's a fucking animal. I swear I have him at number four, maybe because I, I, I'm i being biased right now. Maybe that's the problem. I love this card. This card is a fucking animal. Now we're getting into the top three. Chase Claypool. That's crazy. This card been out for, I think, two, three weeks. And this card here is a fucking demon. Strictly on DMT. He could have been in the top two, top one. If uh, the player above wasn't uh, in the game, but 92 speed, 90 excel, say 9 agility, 93 jumping, 86 awareness, 89 catch, 92 catch in traffic, 92 spec, 88 short, 87 medium, 90 deep, 86 release. Now, he does not have a power up. I wish he did. I would definitely power this card up. This card here is nasty. When I play this card, he kills me. When I use him, he dominates. Trust me, y'all. And he's 6'4. Definitely a fucking animal and has 57 run blocking. So, Definitely a beast. Now we're into the top two, which is going to be Julio Jones. Now, if you want to argue and put Claypool number two and Julio Jones number three, or hell, possibly Tyrone above Julio Jones, I can't argue with you. But it's just the name of Julio Jones. And it's like, I guess it's the traits for him. I don't know. But 91 speed, 90 excel, 91 agility, 93 jumping, 91 awareness, 90 catching, 91 catching traffic, 92 spec, 92 short, 89 medium, 87 deep, 90 release. So you might want well to go deep to get that deep, uh, that, uh, deep right running up. But besides that, y'all, this card here is also pretty nice. I did gameplay on him. I wish I would have kept this card. Like I said, I'm going to do a spinning spring. I'm going to upgrade these receivers. I only have Claypool, Ty, and Steve Smith. So um, expect changes coming really, really soon. This card here, bro, it, it's, people say he's underrated, overrated. I don't think he is. Is he overpriced? I think he is. Um, but powering him up to fully 93 overall going to be a little bit expensive because that uh, 89 Julio Jones is very rare. But the number one receiver, in my personal opinion, is Scary Terry, Scary McLaurin, Ter Terry McLaurin. This car here, I hate this fucking car. I love having him, but going against him is a headache. 93 speed, 91 excel, 86 agility, 87 jumping, 90 awareness, 90 catchy, 88 catching traffic, 91 spec, 91 short, 90 medium, 90 deep, 87 release with 93 speed. Power him up, 94 speed. Like everything's plus one. You have a, a watch, a watch since the Washington football team, um, chemistry. Boost it up. Fucking crazy. This card here is the best receiver in the game. He is six foot, so he's I will probably play him in the slot to be honest with you. But besides that, this is fucking dirty, man. If we talking, this is legit in my opinion the best receiver in the game. Um as of right now. Like I said, I'll probably make an updated list probably in January or probably um around the Christmas probably. We got a whole nother month. I gotta do running backs and quarterbacks updated version. I still gotta do tight ends and safety, so we we'll probably do one of those. Per week for you guys, just to change it up a bit. Thank you guys for all the love and support.